Okay, now the next modification I did was I added a rudder. Before there was the there was no actual moving rudder and it was a V-tail sort of mix, but I didn't want to fly it like that because I just didn't. I want to use the elevators as elevators and the rudder as rudders. So the elevators is basically easy to glue on. I just glued them on. They come with two little rods. You put them in, they fit in perfectly, and then you just glue it on. And what you do is you cut off with a, an X-Acto knife or something, cut off a bit of the paint on, on, on the actual wing itself and on the, the, the body. You cut the paint away so that it has a better bond when you, when you glue it on. Now, with the rudder itself, this piece was the original piece that was on it right here right keep it still there that was the original piece I would have just used this but it's it's hollow inside so if I try to like basically screw that on or or get the hinges on it wouldn't work properly so I used a couple hinges these are hinges I used they were on my my f-22 you know the f-22 that you see me crash and I was just so devastated but anyways I took that, drilled a couple of little holes, glued them in on both sides, and on I cut a piece of balsa wood, measured it to about the same size as the as the piece of wood that I already originally cut off, and voila, painted it, found paint like that was like almost exactly. It looks when you look at the paint job on the the rudder and the plane, it's almost identical. Now this little wheel here. That was from a little um them, them little micro mustangs that I crashed a long time ago. Here's the other one to it. It used to be on the wing. I basically just cut that piece off at the top, drilled a small little hole, added some glue, and stuck it in there. And that's for that's just for emergency and, and hard landings. I see some people put like either a, a copper wire or something like that. And that's just to basically Sometimes if you have a, a hard landing or or you come in kind of funny, you don't want to you don't want to you don't want it to hit your rudder because then you'll, you'll just damage your plane. So I see some people put a little metal wire there, something to to give it some. So I, I just figured why not use something like this and give it a little wheel so that basically you see it has the front wheels, the other two wheels, and then that little tiny wheel. They're glued in, and there you have it, my uh, my rudder mod. Now I'm gonna add, if you can see underneath, I'm gonna add the servo there. I had a little accident, but I fixed it. I'm gonna add the servo there to there. There's the firm point right there. There's a piece of balsa wood because the way they built these ones, they cut out pieces of 
balsa wood so that I guess to make the plane lighter. The, the older versions or more original versions were all solid balsa. This is not solid balsa. It's, there's a lot of big cutouts so you gotta find where the frame is. So there it is right there. You're gonna put the servo there. The servo arm is gonna lead to the rudder. And that's my rudder right there. And I'm gonna put it on a Y connector. And it's gonna be connected to the steerable nose wheel. It's gonna work all together. So I won't need to program my radio for V-tail. So there you have it.